Hey folks, George Leoniak here, now with uh, New Geometry. And I'm just gonna do a quick video. It's a little late here, but I've got a couple, uh, first a couple announcements. Um, I've got a New Geometers uh, Facebook group. Uh, there's a little link on your screen. You can check that out if you want. I've done a whole bunch of new things on the website. and got my blog going again at newgeometry.space. So check those things out. Um, but the real reason I'm jumping on right now is because I was working on my, uh, you know, setting up the Instagram account. And I happened to check out Robert Edward Grant, you know, really well-known geometer. Decided to check out his page. And he had a image um, that was really something just like I posted a couple uh, months ago. This uh, video on the crystal spiral. Um, and it was, you know, the same spiral from the different views. His video, which I'll show you in a second, is the square view here, you know, with the crystal spirals around the galaxy. I think he might have even used the same photograph in that image. Um, and, you know, I'm mostly bringing this to your attention because he um, also has some really neat information related to those discoveries. Um, he doesn't mention the crystal spiral in that at all, but it's certainly the same dynamic and structure of the crystal spiral. So um, that might go unnoticed for a lot of you. I know a lot of people have been checking out my videos around the crystal spiral. So I thought I would just show you that and just read a little bit of his text, just to keep my information current and see what the latest researchers are coming up with. So. Let me share the screen. I have it right here. Um, he did a pretty nifty way of uh, having the, you know, I'll just call it the, the crystal spiral on the, the grid here that we're familiar with in many of my other videos as it expands around and connects, you know, at all those points which I was describing are, you know, part of root five and root 10 in some of my other videos. So, you know, this is uh, appears to me because um, of how this is being incorporated here in this, uh, you know, cathar gig uh, crystal spiral into some of the mainstream science is really quite unifying from my perspective. Um, so here, this is what he says here, real quick. Our team's latest research revealing new evidence of our theory that geometry and gravity and radiation for that matter are literally one and the same thing. And their unity structure is in fact the right triangle. Much confounding academic research has been done on the topic of galactic spirality and pitch variability. Several very complex and candidly confusing theories have been put forward in many white papers from various research institutions around the world, which include highly complex equations and pitch adjustments to the natural logarithm. Notably, none have posited the notion of their galactic spiral basis being simply polygonal spirals, since gravity and geometry are ostensibly the same thing, then curved linear geometry must likewise be light, radiation, and electromagnetic uh, energy. Uh, exponential, exponential, and logarithms are therefore broken into two manifestations with charge and polarities in opposite directions, centripetal versus centrifugal, gravity and radiativity. Um, one gravity is expressed in linear scalar spirality logarithmically and centripetally inward and the other radiatively in transverse exponential spir spirality central fugal outward. But in fact, they are one and the same thing. Think two sides of the same coin. Both are geometry, adhering to identical mathematical ratios based on independent of unit values, um, based, ratios based on relationships. In my opinion, this research will prove that gravity and geometry are actually one and the same thing. Scalar vectors of right triangle relationships the most common of which will be the notable polygonal geometries whose spirality and pitch are a function of the logarithmic exponential value of the ratio of the hypotenuse height 
of said right triangle relationships. Uh, and he put some music um, over top of this. So anyway, I know that was a mouthful. I, I probably stumbled on a few of my words there. I guess the main point there is, you know, it's a, a new evidence that the theory of gravity and uh, geometry are literally one and the same thing. So, you know, um, I think it's fascinating that the uh, research that, uh, you know, I've been conducting into the crystal spiral here is, uh, you know, showing up. This is a post from uh, one day ago that he's placed out there. So, you know, it's pretty cool that, you know, literally the same image, I believe it's the same image. It looks the same with the same I have four spirals here instead of two. And then, you know, how a galaxy would look like from another direction. So check this video out if you want to learn more about that was. Um, it's uh, one of my videos there. And I've re-updated the whole YouTube channel with, uh, you know, the playlists for all these videos. So, yeah, check it out. Once again, check out the Facebook group, um, New Geometers, if you're into that, where I would be continuing on this conversation. I'm going to be sharing a lot more information. I didn't even expect to be doing this video, but I've got some other neat discoveries on some uh, other sacred geometric uh, downloads that have been coming through that are really quite fascinating. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing a lot of that material and uh, continuing to share um, this sacred geometry and the wisdom that comes through it. So um, without further ado, I'll wrap it up with that. and. Um, look forward to hearing what you think about this and seeing what will unfold in our, um, you know, big scientists like Nassim Harriman and Robert Edward Grant, who all kind of are in the same little clique together working on this, how this is all going to play out in, in the big picture now that this, this spiral, the crystal spiral, appears to have made some more um, mainstream headway. So, Hopefully some of the things I've been working on it will be, you know, useful in some of their discoveries. I'm hoping that maybe they've already seen it or maybe they will in the future and it will prove to be useful. So with that, have a great evening and, uh, or your day, wherever you are, and uh, much love. And I'm uh, looking forward to sharing more new geometry with you.